Hey guys, it's Vaughn and today's video is sponsored by my friends at Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creatives and curious people like me and you. It's a fantastic place to explore new skills, develop existing interests, or even cultivate new hobbies. I like it because I'm learning from people I actually want to hear from who are involved in their trades, right? Basically practicing what they preach. I'm currently tuned into this course by Halise Narvaez on how to tell an engaging story in less than a minute. This is really good stuff for anyone looking to master social media Media, or even if you just want to be a better presenter. One of the best things about Skillshare is that I'm learning on my own time when it's convenient for me. If you are ready to explore a fun learning community that supports fellow creatives like us, sign up now with the link in my description. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. <laughs> Hey guys, you watching my real life vlogs. Welcome back, welcome back. Cheers to the weekend. Hey, Anthony tried to run away. <laughs> I'm on uh, speaker with my mom. How can a mom? What'd you say? I say, should I get something that's kind of rose, rose color to go with the, uh, the flowers and try to find the outfits like that too? Uh, I think you're a little late to be trying to put together outfits. I thought you would have had that already ready by now. I told you I'm going to right now, but I'll, I'm gonna find something. Um, anyway, okay, it's too late. To You're not gonna find anything. You wait till the last minute. It's over for you. Anyway, I just got back from dropping Ann off, and then I had a meeting with her new BCBA. So she has a new BCBA now, um, and I really like her. So yeah, we just had a, a meeting, and as soon as I got home, I saw I had a package, girl. A package from our friends at Quick Fresh. Quick Fresh, girl. They sent me a big old box of prepared meals. This is gonna be so freaking awesome, y'all. They sent me this stuff as a gift, but I wanna share it with you all in case you like it and you wanna try it because I do have a discount for you and whatnot. So this is not sponsored or anything. This is just kind of a gift. So no, I did not buy these, but yes, I will be eating them. Anthony, will you be eating them? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I will especially be eating them. So let's go ahead and look through it and see what we have. I haven't even taken off my coat yet. Let me move it over here. Let me move over here. Look at Ann's little breakfast remnants. I gotta get her breakfast stuff cleaned up. What'd you say, Ma? I, I was talking to a young lady at the nail shop. You were talking to a young lady at the nail shop? Oh, okay. So you guys, let me, I don't even wanna take off my coat because I'm about to leave right back out. But y'all, this weekend is um, so much fun. It's the weekend after my birthday weekend. Now it's my mom's birthday weekend. Actually, her birthday is before mine, but things got switched or rude, but anyway, Mom's having her little birthday gathering at my house. So we went to Costco last night, we went to Party City, okay. we went to Mariano's, we got a bunch of the oh, food, no drink, I mean, and hors d'oeuvre uh, items for her little get together. There's gonna be a few people over anyway. Um, so she's getting her nails done right now and then she's going to the nail shop. I mean, she's going to shop for an outfit. Okay, mom, well, uh, hit me when you leave the nail shop, okay? Sure thing. All right. Okay, so let me show y'all these meals and then let me get out of here so I can go. Cause I gotta go to Hobby Lobby and get some more little decorative stuff for my dining table. Cause you know, mom's little crew, you know, you gotta impress them. Cause they be like, what is this girl? So I was gonna do like some little table settings. I gotta go to at home. Cause I need some more um, chargers for my plates. And then just some little decorative stuff, some ribbon. And I need to get some new candles for my candle holders. Cause I used all my candles up for Christmas, I burned them all up. Let's get to these meals, y'all. Y'all, come on by, come on. So, um, this is an ancho lime chicken. See, it's pre-packaged, it looks so delicious. It looks so fresh and good. This one has rice in it. And they're portioned perfectly for like, you know, like fitness and weight loss and stuff like that. So this meal is only 550 calories, 24 grams of fat, 49 grams of protein. I'm not surprised with the portions of chicken. So this looks really, really good. Let's see what else. They got it all packed in um, ice and everything. This next meal is asparagus mushroom frittata. Mmm. How many meals did they send us, baby? Oh my God, it's so... There are so many meals, y'all. They sent me enough food for like the next two weeks. Like what? Oh, and they even sent us like little treats. This is a blondie. I love how all the nutrition facts are printed right on the packaging and even the ones that can't fit it, you just scan the barcode or the QR code and then you can find out all about it. So it looks like there's an egg, some potatoes and sausages in this one. This is another breakfast. It's a Southwest omelet. Oh, we might eat one of these for breakfast today. Y'all, this is so convenient. I'm so excited. Oh my God, we have a turkey basquace. <laughs> and we have oriental beef bowl. 
Y'all, picture me having a really busy day, which is like every day, coming back from the gym, hungry, really don't have time to cook anything, don't want to sacrifice, you know, the calories and go to like Dunkin' or McDonald's or something, and I can come home and just pop one of these in the microwave and my meal is ready to go. Like, imagine me moving like that. Look at the potatoes. It's like, it's like vacuum packed in here and it doesn't look like it really has any preservatives because everything looks like it just got cooked. Let's look at the nutrition facts though, okay? Like for this one, for example, the turkey best waste, you can prepare it um, in the following methods. You can use your microwave, you can use a skillet, or you can use an air fryer. Like if I eat this one meal, it's 94% of my daily value for protein. This one meal. So these are high protein. This is good for weight loss. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna presume that it's a lot of sodium and I'm gonna be right, right? This one has a um, thousand milligrams of sodium so it's like you know there's a trade-off there but it's got everything else you could possibly want it's got iron it's got potassium vitamin D calcium you know in pretty high amounts so there's there's always a trade-off stuff always has sodium when it's convenient food and then there's a ranch bacon chicken wrap one look at that wow 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 We've got a garlic cream chicken this one's got some quinoa I can see all right, so let's do this, y'all. Let's do this, okay? Do y'all want to get $75 off something like this? Do y'all think y'all would be you know, interested in something like this? Let's see. Click the link below, okay? Set up your account, make a purchase, and you'll get a $75 credit. Sound fair, right? Let's try these together, y'all. They look so good at first glance. Now, I'm gonna taste them later on in this vlog so you guys will at least get to see what I think of it once I actually prepare it and eat it. But either way, if you make a choice to join and, and be a part of this um, delivery service, then check the description box, use my link, get some money off, let's do it like that, okay? Thank you so much, Quick Fresh. Really appreciate it, girl. <laughs> All right, let me get rid of this stuff and head on out. Okay, I got all of them in the fridge. I just wanted to show y'all one thing. Y'all look, <laughs> fridge so packed because of my mom's party. We got all this stuff in here. But I just wanted to show y'all that um, the cool thing about these meals, the way that they're packaged, is that you can tell which one it is on the side because they have the name of the meal printed. So it's easier to figure out which one you want to eat versus having to pull everything out. Especially if you order them in bulk like we have here, you really don't need to be pulling them out to look at each one. So I like how they did that. That was really smart. Okay, y'all, Anthony is trying one. Let's see, he just took it out of the microwave. Oh, it looks good, y'all. This looks good. Okay, well, let me know how it tastes, baby. I'm gonna go ahead and slide. Let me show y'all something real quick before I go. I got a new coffee maker, okay? This is a Keurig with the frother thing, okay? Use it a few times. So far, so freaking good. Really, really nice. I'm getting rid of my old one because I just, you know, it was, a it was time for an upgrade. But yeah, y'all, I got this from Target. The only thing I'll say, y'all, is that I thought it was gonna be metal for some reason, like the picture on the box. And to be fair, I didn't really investigate much. I just saw it quickly checked out and walked out the store with it. I didn't really take the time to be like, oh, you know, but yeah, it's all plastic pretty much. Um, I don't know what material that is, but yeah, I thought it was metal. But other than that, I really love it. It's doing the job, so it's fine by me. Y'all remember the old one that I had? I'm actually gonna give it to my friend because she says she likes the older Keurig models anyway. So I'm just gonna give it to my friend so we're not throwing it out. That's what we're doing. You see my roses up here? <laughs> Soaking in water, roses, and the baby's breath. I'm gonna use those to decorate my mom's cake because we had to get her a store-bought cake because she waited to the last minute to decide she wanted a cake so we didn't have time to put an order in like for a custom one and all that. So I'm just gonna make it look custom by adding some fresh flowers to it. So those are soaking in water there. I haven't eaten yet, but when I get back, I'll probably eat one of those meals out of the fridge. I'm so glad we have those. Um, so yeah, let's go to Hobby Lobby, y'all, and then at home. Y'all wanna come? Let's see what they have. First stop, at home. This is my go-to place, you guys, for last minute decor items, things that don't necessarily need to be designer or fancy or expensive, just some pretty items to fill a space. And quick pro tip, Layla Ali has a curated collection here at, at home, and it's absolutely beautiful. I was having so much fun just exploring the offerings. Uh, everything is really cool, so definitely check it out if you have not already. And these are just some of the items that I picked up today. Now we're headed to Hobby Lobby. Another quick tip of mine is when I'm looking for really cutesy kind of 
fancy looking decor items for like table settings I always go to the wedding section that's where they stash all the good stuff okay and they have a really elaborate ribbon section I always come here when I'm trying to decorate my Christmas tree or like fake florals for a special occasion it's all gonna be right here okay <laughs> Okay, you guys, I got some stuff, right? Um, yeah, so I'm just about done. I feel like I need to stop at one more store, though. I just, I wanna go back to Mariano's and get um, some more flowers, some more fresh flowers. Cause I'm thinking about the fact that I have fresh flowers. Let me turn this down. I have fresh flowers for a cake and not fresh flowers for like an actual floral arrangement for the tabletop. So I think I'm gonna stop by Mariano's because I love their floral selection. It's really like a florist operating out of a grocery store. It's always like really good stuff. So I'm gonna go by there and then that'll be it for me. I'll show you guys what I got when I get home. Okay, back home. Hey, Sansa girl, don't be jumping on me. She just came in from outside. She got wet feet, you didn't put her shoes on? Let me take this hat off, let's see if it's safe. It's a lot of edge and pump it up and all types of product in my hair, but a lot of it has just, I guess, absorbed, so. But anyway, this is presentable enough, otherwise you know me. I'll put my hood on in a minute, okay? Let me show you guys what all I got from the stores. Put you guys over here. All right, let me show y'all. I'm so hungry. I'm about to eat one of these meals. <sighs> let me see. Which one should I eat? Let me try the open range breakfast. I'm gonna eat this one, y'all. I'm starving like Marvin. It's literally one o'clock p.m. and I haven't eaten yet. Yep, microwave two minutes. Quickest way to do it. Let's just do it. All right, while that's microwaving, let's take a peek at what I got. All right, so let's start with Hobby Lobby, y'all. So. Tempted. I cannot resist these little placemats. Look how cute y'all, it's giving spring, which is what we need to be receiving right now because spring is definitely on the way. So I'd rather get my house ready for that instead of emphasizing all this winter stuff. Plus this is going to make me feel better about being stuck in the house with all the snow outside. So I really like this y'all. The only thing is I know Ann is gonna mess with this because this was shedding a little bit even in the store. But I think it's kind of worth it. I'm just gonna see. I mean, it's not like I don't own a vacuum cleaner. So I got six of those. And then I got some bowls. Kind of like turquoise, but with plenty of brown and plenty of texture. There's some gold and greenish. And then it's kind of got that like speckled look. So it has that handmade quality. Very good um, quality, very sturdy. And I was so surprised I got these for uh, like $5 each, y'all. That's like thrift store prices for um, good pottery like this. So. Yeah, I'm going to see how I like it. I'm not sure, y'all, because y'all know I'm not really a big fan of color, but I do appreciate the earth tones and the jewel tones. So this was a no-brainer. It was real easy for me to just reach for this. So I'm just going to see how it looks when it's all put together in my dining room. If I don't like it, I do have my receipt. I can take it back, but I'm going to try it because the colors jumped out at me. Oh, I got some new candlesticks for my candle holder in my dining room. They're just white candlesticks. But I need to make sure they'll fit inside the candle holder. Because y'all know like candle holders don't be having like universal openings. And so your candlesticks may or may not fit inside. So I'm hoping they do. They're really tall. I actually be burning my candles. They're not just for decoration. So I end up buying these a lot. I normally get them on Amazon. But today I was in Hobby Lobby. So I'm like, why not? I just really hope they fit. Right? I hope they fit. So these are the ribbons that I am using for the balloons. We have a rose gold one. We have this sort of deeper colored rose color. Then we've got like this meshy pink, very like sheer. And some fake little miniature roses just in case I need them. I'm not sure if I will. And then I got this frame girl because I want to frame uh, that picture of Preston that Nini gave me. I hope it'll fit in here. I got some pompous grass from uh, at home. I guess that's what you call this. I'm gonna stick it in a couple of those bases up front. What else? Oh, so also from Hobby Lobby, I got this like server. Really, really cute. I'm thinking I'll put it on the dining table and put like some fruit or some cheese or something like that. 
on it. I was planning on doing a small charcuterie board anyway, so I'll just use that to have some different heights. So we'll see. And I also got the ribbons and stuff that I needed for my mom's balloon um, presentation that I'm gonna be putting together. And that's pretty much it. Um, so let me get my breakfast going. I'm starving like Marvin. And then very soon here will be time to pick up Ann from school. So that's pretty much my afternoon. the next day and I'm tackling everything floral from the tablescape and centerpieces to the cake decorations. This store-bought cake we're gonna go ahead and make it look like it was custom <laughs> It turned out pretty nice. Store bought cake looking kind of custom a little bit. <laughs> Heck, you guys here's how I make my hors d'oeuvre presentations look very appetizing so these are store-bought sauces and I just put in like some fresh garnishes and these little tags so that you know what everything is and y'all it looks so nice and it also tasted very good and everyone thought they were homemade everyone was asking me for the recipes so next time you have a store-bought sauce try fresh garnish your guests will love it just a quick tour of the setup you know I gotta have my cheese fruit and wine available here and of course my fire flickering my candles and my fireplace just really sets the tone and makes it really welcoming and cozy okay makeup session y'all y'all see me with the wig on and everything trying something different you need to understand so there's mom i just did her makeup i basically gave her like my birthday makeup kind of the same deal except I, I did more bronze on your eye but pretty much the same i mean that's what she was going for so this is her outfit y'all she looks really cute very very cute oh viscomuto okay those are real cute and then she just has a braid out for her hairstyle and what are you sipping on tell them what your drink is boy so anyway you guys i just did um this was the wig i was supposed to wear for my birthday but i'm glad i didn't um this is not a birthday wig this is a uh last minute hairstyle wig so I'm just gonna wear it for tonight and everything. So I'm just doing like a little smoky eye. I'll probably put on, I don't wanna do red lipstick if my mom doing red, but red is in season right now. Like red is in right now. So I don't know, I might do a red lip. I might just keep it matte or something like that. We'll see, I'll be ready shortly. <laughs> and yeah, y'all, that's the look. I like it, it came together, okay. Okay, can y'all see me? So I'm ready. This is the hair. It's kind of long, as you can see. It's kind of long, y'all, but I really like the color and I like how it's falling. This is kind of cute. This is kind of cute, so I got my red wine on deck and I'm just wearing like this sweater 
and I have on my, uh, what do you call these, um, Spanx, you know, faux leather Spanx. And then I'm just gonna wear these flat shoes. This is perfect for like hosting in the house, you know. I like this little wig or whatever. So let me go say hi to my cousins and stuff. Oh, you have a king in your house? Oh, yeah, you've been just circling the whole no. Ashley. Ashley. Oh. <laughs> hey, Ship. Y'all move the car already? Oh, yeah, do that. Mom's gifts. And her cake is out. I can't wait to eat this cake. Okay, finally eating, y'all. It's so much chaos. Oh my god. So, this is my plate greens, macaroni, fried catfish, and a little piece of jerk chicken. Not super hungry, but. We gotta do the karaoke. Hey, it's my first cousin, Mike. How's the punch? Amazing. <laughs> he said amazing. Happy birthday. It's your birthday. Go Annie, go Annie. I tried to catch her dancing, she was just dancing. <laughs> Off you go into your playroom 
which is a disaster. What else is new? It's a disaster. And I blame you. <laughs> this has been this way, admittedly, since KK was here for my birthday weekend, so I can't even trip. But I just have not had the energy to get in here and organize it, girl. So somebody is having a great time playing. I'm looking crazy. Hair all over the place. It's the next morning, as you could have probably assumed. And we spent the morning cleaning up everything. Y'all, my floors were so bad. But look how beautiful they are now. They were so bad, so much salt and snow. It was so bad, but yeah, we got most of everything out. Um, Got the balloons out, the flowers, and I just have to put some of this decor stuff back in, you know, the storage bins and the garage and stuff. But yeah, y'all, this is my new spread for the spring. I'm keeping it like this. I'll probably change the centerpiece. Let me come this way so you guys can see it. I'll probably change the centerpiece, but I really like these, um, these Aztec looking like green bowls. I, I don't know, this whole thing was inspired by that. I still wanna get some plates that are like black and white. I couldn't find them. I was running all around trying to find them. I couldn't find them, so I'm probably gonna have to like order online or something like that. But I really want black and white plates instead of that white plate, and then I can ditch that black charger. But I only incorporated the black charger so I can get that black and white, that drama, you know? But I'm gonna keep shopping for it and um, it's just so funny because I have the taste for a burger. So I told Anthony, let's go to Smash Burger and get burgers because I really have the taste for like a cheeseburger, you know. But yeah, kitchen is all clean pretty much. I cleaned all of my floors. I took the rugs up, put them in the washer. So they're going to be coming out soon. That's what I like about Ruggable for um, really active kitchens. You got to get Ruggable so you can just wash them in the washing machine. But yeah, all of those plates all those trays of food are all gone dishwashers go in sink is clear i got this thing soaking just because and then everything is nice and clean these are the leftover meats which i don't know what my mom is gonna do with all this stuff i was telling her like i don't eat this kind of stuff like i don't eat like barbecue i really hate it right i like grilled stuff but i don't like like charcoal barbecues never did even when i was little i did not like it never acquired a taste for it so um, she's not leaving this stuff here. I think she's gonna give it away or something, but yeah, we're not gonna leave it here. Hey, mom. So it was a fun night and everything. You know what I'm saying? So I'll tell mom to come over here so she can tell us about her birthday experience. So what did y'all think of the party? Did you think my mom had a good time? I'm pretty sure she did. What I wanted her to do was to stop trying to do things, right? Stop trying to clean up and prepare food and situate things and just have a seat and let all these other busybodies, you know, get in there and do it for her. She did not just relax and enjoy the moment. And I think that's kind of just generally a consequence of being like a mom, of being a woman, being a mom. Like we're so like nurturing. We just want to make sure everything's okay. You know, we don't even take the time to just sit back and just enjoy people doing for us, you know, enjoying us and celebrating us. We just, we have a problem with that. We struggle with that. Why do you think that is? Why think what? Why do you think um, moms and women, mainly moms, can't just sit back and relax unless somebody else like treat them to a good time. They always feel like they need to be doing something. They need to be caring for people. They, you know, like you were cleaning up, you were trying to fix plates, you were trying to make sure the food was straight and you were just doing all this stuff. And we just kept telling you like, mom, sit down. Like even your friends and stuff, Peaches and them, they were like, could you just sit down? They were like, you know, it's your birthday, let us do this. And you were having a hard time with that. You just kept on being busy, making sure everyone had drinks and you know, you kept on doing that. Why, why do you think, or do you think, you know, us as women, as moms have an issue with like just Letting go. We're creatures of happy. And it's just a routine now. You're just so used to doing. Yeah. I couldn't stop myself. It was like. Yeah. It's calling me. We kept on <laughs> telling you, like, have a seat. You don't need to check on this food. You need to just sit down and have a drink and let people bring you food. So you were struggling with that. But you still had a good time, though, right? I had a wonderful time. Oh my goodness, I had a wonderful time. <laughs> <laughs> and so many people took videos, and for me to see my 
videos. Um, oh, I mean, I, I look awesome. Yeah, you I like your makeup? I love my makeup. I look awesome. Last night was my night, guys. Oh, <laughs> that's so good. I really did. I had a good time, and um, you know, it was real nice. Yeah, it's really nice. You like your little decorations? I love my decorations. Um, yeah, it was it was really nice. Yeah, because I know you wanted to originally travel for your birthday. Yeah. Um, but you know, with that travel and stuff, like you really have to plan ahead. Like I was just I was telling you, I think after after my birthday, I was like, yeah, if I want to do anything for my birthday, like especially like for next year, if I want to do something big, like with some travel plans or something, you really have to start planning like in August. Mm -hmm. you, you know, like you really have to start like for my birthday being in February, like I really have to start in August. And if you don't start in August, next thing you know, you know, it's Halloween and then it's Thanksgiving. And then it's Christmas, and then it's the New Year, and then you're like, oh, what am I doing for my birthday? Because once the fall hits, it hits hard. Like, it's a lot of national holidays, like, you know, back to back, and things that, you know, I'm into. Y'all know I'm big on Halloween, I'm big on Thanksgiving, I'm big on Christmas. Mm -hmm. And you look up and you're like, oh, my birthday is like here, it's like tomorrow, and I don't have any plans. And so, um, like, same thing with you, our birthdays are like two, three, three days apart? Mm -hmm. Three days. Three days apart. So. We're in the same boat, right? If we don't start by August, September is the drop dead. If you don't have plans locked in by September, or at least an idea of what you're trying to do, you can forget it. You're not going to have much of a birthday. But um, believe it or not, my birthday plans actually um, happened over the course of a, a three-week planning cycle. It was it was literally like three weeks out. Um, I mean, the, the concept was there maybe a little bit more than that, maybe five weeks or something like that. But we didn't actually start like, all right, booking stuff until um, like three weeks out. So it came together really quickly. But the yeah. only thing that saved me was that it's a winter time thing and restaurants were like, oh, well we do have the availability, you know? And it was right after the holiday, so they were coming down off of the holiday high and there was some availability. But other than that, I would have been in bad shape. Mm -hmm. Wait till the last minute, you know, trying to get through the holidays and then being like, oh yeah, my birthday. I'm ready for my burger. So yeah, that was pretty much the vlog, y'all. That's pretty much it. You know, I don't want to keep you guys. Anthony, you want to say hi? You want to say hi to them before we um, end the vlog? Come on, salt and pepper. Oh, No, the other Anthony standing over there. Uh. Thank you for coming out. God bless. Good night. Speaking of which, did you see that 25-year um, uh, uh, reunion for uh, Def Comedy Jam? Did y'all see that? It was on Netflix? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or was it Prime? Netflix. 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 Yeah, it was good. I, I enjoyed it. It's old. It's good. No, it, was good. it was good. It just made me think about like how like, we don't have anything like that like right now. Yeah, no. You said it just it gave was... me like it gave me like nostalgia, but like also sadness because like hey, we don't have anything like that. Yeah, we are a comedy family. Like well, we love we comedy. Mike set up. I only had a lot. Like <laughs> we love comedy. Wait, but when Mike Epps came out there with uh, Joe Tory, I was. So did when Mike Epps was saying, um, dang, what did he say right at the end? He had me cracking up. He was saying how somebody, uh, well, he, well, he was talking about the people in the audience had on body suits, but they don't have a body. And he was like, y'all are looking like WWF wrestlers. I was dead. What's happening about Jamie? Really? But, but Jamie is different because you low key know him in real life. She's been to Jamie's house. And, uh, we're talking about Jamie Foxx. She's been to his house before everything. You talking about him like you don't know him. She low key knows him in real life. First of all, now we not not now they got me engaged. Okay, first of all, <laughs> for first of all, uh, <clears throat> I, I've been following Jamie ever since. How many times have you seen him in person? How many times have you born. sat down and had a drink with him? Uh, more than I can count. But what I'm trying to say is, I've been following him ever since he left Plano, Texas. Okay, Jamie, if you hear this, you know that. So. <laughs> No, like low key, y'all. Like she, That's she my really boy. low key. I follow his him. career. He has a heart of gold. How did you meet him? What was the first time y'all met? First time we met was at um, Lisa Ray's bridal shower. No, 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 no. Take that back. Take that back. First time I met him was right after the Oscar at the W for the that other W hotel that begins with W. <laughs> <laughs> The Wal the Waldorf? The Westin. The Westin. Oh, okay. He's at the W of the Westin, and you know the one that had the the Banyan lobby. It's like it oh the W that was the W, and it was right after the Oscar and um, yeah that's in what Chicago I, he had hair mm -hmm, downtown he had oh, hair oh, okay, okay yeah 
he had, he had really, really little. When like you said right after the Oscar, I was thinking you meant like after the Oscars awards ceremony. And I'm like Chicago, but you're talking about like after that happened. After he won like the a Oscar. timeline. After he won the Oscar, he still had the um, the Ray Charles hair. Mm-hmm. And that's when I met him. And so that was the first time. The second time was a bridal shower. Third time, it was um, really, really nice because we were in some place, um, a club that was like in 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 the alley, and Lisa Ray wasn't here. And that night went. And he knew because he had to put my name on the uh, the waiting list for us to get in, and it was just awesome, you know. So. To just randomly meet like your celebrity crush and actually like connect with them and see them over and over and over again, it's not even a crush anymore at this point. You, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, it's just so cool. I I really admire that. <laughs> Crack my knuckles, y'all ain't ready. I'm like, mm, so anyway, <laughs> time to go. Put on a hat or something. It's a mess. I still have the same hair from when I had my ponytail. It's just a mess. But um, yeah, y'all. Had a good time hanging with you guys. Until next time. Bye. <laughs>